Hello, it's Empress Lux Lache. I'm here to do a reading on Bad Baby. You know, she recently revealed she had cancer. Spirit is highlighting as so below, so above with this particular situation. Um, Spirit is highlighting danger, her playing broke or needing to play broke. Also, her family, royalty. I don't know if someone could have that name or like she's the considered the one royalty in the family, if you know what I mean by that. Bonus and spirit is highlighting heaven in the shadows. Scorpio, Scorpio season. Um, uh, her getting ancestor messages. I'm not sure she even realizes she's getting ancestor messages or astrology. She could be becoming more spiritual or someone connected to her is. Spirit is also highlighting trauma. Not clearly seen a writing on the wall. Death is in the shadow. We have love on your body in reverse, questions in reverse, altar in reverse, truth in reverse, first impressions in reverse, and boss daddy in reverse. Do feel like she's having issues with her baby father. Um, that is something still there with issues with him. Now, with the angel and ancestor messages, she's trying to thrust and thrive and enjoy success and happiness. I keep seeing a sun for her, so I don't know if she's... Um, likes the sun or is trying to get sun or she has a tattoo of a sun or somebody has like literally a baby boy i know i think her child's a little girl but i'm seeing the sun twice for her i also feel like there's still something hidden the unforeseen with her health um she's trying to lay low not really be that wild side of her that we saw but this this energy of not being able to see past this current situ situation not really sure what's next She's not following the voice of her soul. I feel like her ancestors are trying to send her messages, people that has passed on, possibly people that are still here on this plane. Uh, Spirit is highlighting, you know, her taking medicine, her honoring, her inner knowing. Also, her role as a mother and possibly connecting more so with her mother or mother figures. Spirit is highlighting winter, specifically her need to make sure she take care of her needs and also choose which direction and path she truly wants to go in. Spirit is highlighting, I keep saying that, danger. Um, sending the best of wishes to her. I hope she, you know, really pulls through this. I see the five of pentacles, so I feel like, you know, she's her mother or a feminine energy energy is going to be helping her specifically with this i'm um, also see her priority shifting after adversities five of pentacles talks about being in the cold having health issues financial issues um but on this particular deck it's like you connecting with the feminine energy and really shifting your priorities and going against adversity dealing with adversity also focusing on what her dreams are putting her dreams in action i'm seeing five and three or 35 53 the hangman reverse is a very spiritual card it's almost uh, in this one it's a woman standing on one leg um this also talks about something becoming unstuck movement after a period of nothing moving i'm seeing a queen of wands which is typically another woman so i ain't gonna lie her man may be you know cheating because the queen of wands reverse is um is she a person i don't think this is her i'm seeing a lot of feminine energy around her this person um this queen of wands reverse talks about monopoly playing a game of monopoly jealousy cheating being self-centered lacking virtue not really wanting to uh, have confrontation or yielding to others. I'm seeing the letter M as well. But typically when I see that, it's something about another woman that could be causing issues. And I did pick up on issues within that relationship. Uh, I have like I see that second son. This is the happiest card of the day. And we also saw enjoy success and happiness. But in the shadows of the night of source reverse, this talks about hostility, aggression, a conflict, also possibly being excessively enthusiastic. Uh, you know how you try so hard to be happy, but it's almost like a front. This also talks about reckless action, like conflict and issues, um, trouble, sadness, with your thoughts and action, needing apathy and wanting apathy. Three of ones in reverse. Uh, another three is being highlighted in the letter S. Three of ones in reverse is just basically talking about not sure of what the future holds. Not really sure. So... I feel like this was really quick. Let's see. So 
Okay, um, I asked was, you know, is this a, could she beat this? Like, you know, get rid of it. It never comes back. Spirit is highlighting a questionable decision. And being free from attachments. And I'm seeing a hangman reverse again. Um, which talks about, you know, something becoming unstuck. But also neglecting spiritual development. needing forgiveness. A false spirituality. Also being self-righteous and selfishness. Being a modern. Mm, ooh. Ooh. She. Ooh. Being a modern. That makes me think of. It's, who is it? It's the, I can't think of her name. And she looks. It's an older woman. She was like a DJ or a talk show. And she was diagnosed with breast cancer. And she decided to not... I think it was breast cancer. I could be wrong. I can't think of her name. Very pretty African-American woman. And she decided to not get treatment for it. She almost like, I'm just going to let God do what God does. And the cancer has developed. I think her name starts with an A. I just saw that. Um, King of Cups reversed. Typically, this is masculine energy. She could be operating her masculine energy. But with this showing, this talks about being too emotional, too distracted, hot-headed, um, not being able to cope, obsessive, being spiteful. Hmm. Yeah, Spirit is saying a questionable decision in future in reference to this. Let me see if I can get something else. She's super young. Queen of Pentacles, a maternal energy, generating prosperity, being resourceful, go-getter. Um, typically, it could be any earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. doesn't have to be. Just somebody focused on their money. Their wealth being generous. King of Swords, reverse communication that is not necessarily true. Not necessarily true. Um, detaching, moving on from past hurts with the Four of Cups. Building new relationships, regeneration, and emergence. Okay, I'm still getting something questionable. Look, I still see the Seven of Swords, and interestingly enough, Kim K is on here. Where she posed nude. Well, she po well, she always posted nude. She posed with her butt out. It's something about a questionable decision. Number seven is being highlighted. I see the letter K being highlighted with this cancer reveal. But I see eventually she is going to move on from past hurts and build new relationships, pop back out, reemergence. No, emergence and regeneration. King of Swords reverse. I don't know necessarily if I like that energy coming out because that's the energy of somebody not telling the truth, like uh, misconstruing the truth. You could be honest. You could bring some sort of justice. Uh, this could be somebody attached to her, but... Like a false narrative. I hope this girl is not... Yeah, I ain't gonna say that. I don't want to question anyone's health issues. So there's something about a sequence for her. 9, 8, 10. Something going in order. Um, getting life is beautiful. Fast luck. Road to riches. After a false start. After missed opportunities. Uh, I do see healing and cooperation for her. Um, moving too quickly. Her being naive and gullible. Then a chariot. Cancer energy. Some sort of breakthrough. Possible travel. Momentum. So I do think something was wrong because I do see healing and recuperating. Why can I not talk with this Mercury retrograde? Um, her recuperating. <laughs> okay, but I'm just just questionable decision. It's interesting to me. But that is what I have. Um, warm wishes to bad baby.